couple of years ago, I was fortunate enough to work in a local high school, and I'm not going to mention where or in all the type of specifics, but I worked in for a couple of years in a local high school in the special education department. Amazing experience. And I worked with a couple of different students, obviously a lot, but a couple of different students came to mind. And it's interesting that the stuff that we take for absolute granted, how to act in, or you know how we perceive we should act in a social situation, what's appropriate, what's inappropriate, what's it like or what are you supposed to do as a man? What are you supposed to not do as a man? How you greet someone, how you start a conversation, how you do those life things, those normal life things that you and I take for granted. And I guess it got me thinking to, I think we take it for granted too much. I think we're expecting our young people today, and I'll say young people, and I, and I you know, it could be a 40 year old, could be, it doesn't matter, but I, I think we expect too much sometimes. We expect them to know, or we expect young people to know how to live because we do. And we forget that we got to where we are by mistakes and by someone taking an interest in us. And so I would implore you to rethink that taking for granted. Don't take for granted that a young person or a friend or, or will know, will know how they're supposed to act. Sometimes the best way you can teach someone is by experience. You experiencing it with them. You teaching them through your experience. Agree? I know I learned through experience. I learned what to do. I learned not what to do. And so in that social setting at the school, it really enforced to me that who I am today is because of the past experiences and the past people that I have around me and I had around me. And I was fortunate enough to know which experiences I chose to be good experiences, again, without the label, but the, the, the inference of good, and which ones that didn't serve who I wanted to be and who I chose to be. And so I guess when we're dealing with people, you have to keep that in mind. You really have to keep that in mind. And some young people, you're going to have to say, this is may not be the best choice for you. I hope it helps. Um, it's something, you know, me, I'm fairly random, fairly... Uh, um, off the cuff. Uh, I hope you got something out of this today. Uh, and if you got nothing, well then I hope that you can at least understand that the stuff that you do does matter to the people around you. And people do listen to you. They may not say it, but you, if you look closely, they may pick, you may pick up on some of the little nuances and some of the stuff that you do that someone else might copy. And then you know that someone's actually taking interest. Happy for feedback. Happy for comments. Smile. Nod. Have an amazing day because you can choose to.